Welcome. Today we're going to talk about iPad screen protectors. Specifically, we're going to talk about the paper-like versus the Jet Tech feels like paper um, screen protector because they're both supposed to feel like paper, but one's far, far cheaper than the other with the Jet Tech coming in at 21 Canadian and the paper-like coming in at 92 Canadian. Before we do that, a few ways to support the channel. You can become a member below, join. If you like the video, you can do like super thanks, stuff like that. You can join me in Discord, or you can take one of my courses um, below on Skillshare. You can find the links to all of them there. Now buckle up, let's talk about paper-like versus jet tech feels like paper. So one of the first questions you're probably asking is, Curtis, why on earth would you take this brand new, wonderful M1 iPad Pro and put a screen protector on it? And the answer is I tried. I really tried not to put one on, but the fingerprints on that screen drive me bonkers. Absolutely nuts. I can't, just can't deal with having uh, all those smudges all over it. I lasted about a week and a half, maybe two. I just, that's it, couldn't do it. iPad screen is beautiful uh, for sure, but I just couldn't do it anymore. And the smudges bug me far more than the slight loss of clarity that I find uh, with I have the Jet Tech on my M1 iPad Pro. The other thing that this screen protector has done, at least my paper like did, was save my iPad once because my daughter came into my office and grabbed uh, my Apple Pencil, managed to put a burr on it somehow, and then scratched the whole paper like all up. So you could like feel it with your nail. You could like feel the grooves in the paper like, and my screen was totally fine. So for those two reasons, because the fingerprints are terrible on the old iPad Pro and on the new M1 iPad Pro, whatever their oleophobic fingerprint coating is, it's just not doesn't cut it and because I got kids just have to use it. The question is, what are they like? What's the difference between them? Application process, pretty much the same. Uh, the Jet Tech went on just as easy as the paper like has. There was no issues with it. They gave you lots of nice little stickers to put it on. Applications exactly the same, more or less without, you know, paper like branded application stickers. Um, the only real differentiator that I noticed with them is the Jet Tech feels just a touch thicker. So when I swipe up from the bottom of my iPad, I can feel the ridge with my thumb. And when I look at them both, they're installed about the same. If it's different, it's like tiny, tiny bits that I couldn't even, didn't even bother measuring microns. Well, probably not microns, but a little tiny bit. And it feels just a little thicker in that respect. Otherwise, when, if I'm not swiping up from the bottom, which honestly, I use my iPad with an external keyboard or with the Apple Magic keyboard most of the time. So I'm very rarely swiping up from the bottom. I just don't notice it. They're the same. Apple Pencil feel, it feels about the same between the two. I don't notice any appreciable difference between them. They're the same. So I'm going to come down to, um, for me, and I didn't you know I don't have a spectrometer, I don't have all these like fancy things, like what actually has the most clarity, stuff like that. But for me, um, when I think about it, the paper like is $92, the Jet Tech is $21, I'm talking Canadian here. Is the paper like really $71 more value? No, no, it's not. Even if you assume uh, Paperlite comes with two. So if I half the cost, I could still buy two Jet Tech, feels like papers, and have like have more. I have more value out of there, right? And um, I can buy four of them in the cost uh, of $92 Canadian, more or less, pretty close. So no, I don't know that it's worth it. I'm not sure that I will buy another Paperlike um, at all because I think the Jet Tech is just as good and it is far, far, far cheaper. So if I was making a recommendation, if I was buying one for one of my next devices, I would absolutely choose the Jet Tech. I would just skip the Paperlike. Not that it's a bad product. I think when it first came out, it was the best product out there, but I think the Jet Tech is a far better value currently. That's it. If you liked the video, thumbs up below. If you loved it, you can subscribe, hit the bell. YouTube will let you know stuff happens, but honestly, keep your notifications off. You've got other things to do. If you really liked it, there's also like a, you know, super thanks or to join, become a member, stuff like that. Or you can take one of my courses on Skillshare. Have an awesome day.